What's your biggest goal for law enforcement? Um, my biggest goal is to abolish the policing system in general. The policing system here in America is directly derivative of slavery. It didn't start until after slavery was ended and they wanted a way to keep black people enslaved even more. So we can't try to reform something that literally came about to enslave black people. Um, yeah, I, I don't want police. I think that the world would be better off. They suck up Chicago police officers or, or excuse me, police department receives, I believe, $1.7 billion a year. Kansas City Police Department received $273 million, and I believe our school systems received around $225 million. Meanwhile, houseless initiatives here in Kansas City received $2 million. $2 million. Mind you, if you drive around this city, you will encounter so many houseless people here in this city. so many houses people in the city so the fact that they spent two million dollars on that and 273 million dollars on the police department who haven't stopped not one of the 154 homicides that have occurred this year is really telling um someone said gender is fluid can you please explain um yes you could wake up one day and decide that you want to be male identifying or you want to be female identifying so it's fluid meaning that it's not you know a guy could be queer at age 20 straight at age 60 queer at age 70 you know it's fluid so there's no real like saying like oh i'm straight like it's either communism 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 and it's crazy because the american school system taught us so much hatred towards com communism they told us it was bad and bad um it's not it's really not it's the idea that everyone should have a house food things to eat you know clothing to wear so the fact that america despises communism so much is really telling because they would rather people sit and sleep on the concrete if you go up the street from my job here there are there's a housing encampment under a bridge they sleep under a bridge every night so america would rather keep capitalism in the forefront of everyone's mind to think like oh i need to get rich i need to get rich and then i won't be like those houseless people no no everyone deserves a house irregardless of whether you're lebron james or you're a random man on the street a random man on the street so yes i am i would be in total favor of communism if it means everyone in america has a house has clothing has food has access to water medicine anything that they need i would definitely be willing to make fifty thousand dollars a year or or just a flat out amount if it means that everyone can get what they need so yes communism and that's on and that's on period <laughs> that's on period i wish there was a more organized way that instagram had of managing these I will try y'all you have to be 35 to run for president but i will definitely try when that time comes um i do have political aspirations here in kansas city if the people see me fitting like um i grew up in savannah georgia on the south side so we weren't rich but we weren't poor for a part of my life and then for the other part of my life we were like detrimentally poor um my grandmother was like the driving force in my family that really made sure that we had a house over our head um but i won't dive too much into that but yeah i started working at 16 at kmart and i've hustled ever since then like i got myself i have my own car 912 seaport savannah georgia i got my own car like i got my own laptop like i funded myself through school like i've really worked for every dime that i had and it's no shade to my mom who's worked hard who's worked overtime to ensure that her kids had had a successful childhood but everyone falls short um so yeah
other than voting, what steps do you feel like the black community needs to take to see change? Um, I think the black community really has to come together as a conglomerate and just decide whether or not we want to reform this system or if we want to abolish it. I'm for abolishing the police. I don't believe that you can reform something that wasn't made equal. Um, it's like starting a gang and then being like, oh, well, we're going to reform ourselves so that we're a less violent gang. Um, it doesn't undo all the evil that you've done. And so, yeah, I think we need to come together as a conglomerate and start showing up. You know, I really don't ask a lot of black people because our existence is a protest. Being alive is a protest in America. So even us getting up and going to work every day, that's a protest. So I don't really get offended when it's mostly white people at these protests. They should be. They should be on the front lines. White people should be on the front lines for black lives. So, yeah, I would love to see more black people out. But as my sister Nikki of Operation Liberation told me, we don't even get our basic needs met. It's black people out here with light soft who don't have food, who, who are trying to find transportation for their kids to and from school in the middle of a global pandemic. So I'm not going to ask more of them by telling them, oh, it's your responsibility to come to this protest because I want you there. When we start meeting people's basic needs and they don't have to worry about finding childcare to come to a protest, don't have to worry about lights coming on or, or excuse me, lights off when they go home from the protest, then people will start showing up in numbers. But yeah, 